Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess, and in this tutorial I will be doing uh, the creases. Um, this is like literally the best consistency and color I've ever gotten for creases. So it's working really, really well. Sometimes you need to do something different, like apply it several times, but you can kind of see how... You can see how thick it is by how it drips down the pad. Alright. And you can see I've already done one leg and one arm. So. the before and after for you. Won't be able to tell much of a difference. This is before, this is after. It's much more noticeable in person. Alright. And then here is the creased keep doing it backwards alright before, after you can crease the little dimples then of course we don't have a before and after with the face because there's no face I can do. <laughs> Wipe your brush off really good for the face. Actually, the best way to test it is I'll use my crease color um, on the lips to do my first, or like I'll do creases on the lips because the lips are going to be darker anyway. Start by doing a few creases and then just like blend down. Mm. You can also line the lip with this color. So right now I'm lining the bottom lip. You don't want to line the lips too heavy because it won't look as natural. Just to kind of give you a mark of where to stop. In some kits, um, the lips are raised a little bit more and it's easier to tell. Other kits, it's hard. And you have to kind of create your own lip line, especially with the top lip line, you get that a lot. Just going over it several times to make sure there's not paint strokes this way. Make sure everything looks like it's coming down because that's what the creases in your lips look like. So bottom lip has its layer. I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. This isn't a very good tutorial. This is mostly just like Watch me reborn. Hopefully it helps with uh, your color choice though. I only use the very last, like, I go around um, the lips, avoiding this part right there until my last bit of paint, and that's when I go over that, because that area is going to be much lighter than the rest of the lips. Doing a bit of a lip line now.
Mm. I can't wait till my custom Tegan comes in for Peaceful Reborns. I love Laura Lee Eagle sculpts and they just look like such a joy to paint. I'm being really nitpicky right now. Oh jeez, I spent five minutes on this. Let's move on. Alright. And then we have some creases. And we blend. I like to go both ways, like go in and then go the other way. I feel like that makes both endings of the crease even. And we do creases around the nose. Don't try to memorize where all the creases go, just think about, you know, where all the natural creases are. The other day, somebody was asking me, okay, so you crease this, 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 and this? And I'm like, you crease the creases. <laughs> All right, you want to be careful not to have too much paint when you're going into the center crease of the eye because it's a deep crease and it might pool. So you just, you literally... Like here's the little opening. What you're going for is to shade that top and the bottom of the opening. And that'll kind of give you the shaded eye look. Probably should have done one and then showed you the difference. But too late. Alright, so here's what the eyes look creased. And you don't want to have too much paint on the brush when you're doing like the under eye creases and stuff because they aren't very dark at all. You always want to blend. So we've gone up the eye, down the eye on that. So you can see, I've only done the bottom crease on this one. You can kind of see a little bit of a difference. Alright, so now we have the creases on the top and the bottom, and you do not want to have much paint on your brush when you do this, but we're going to go in the corner of the eye just a little bit, and just like brush out, and then kind of go along the top of the eyelid. So it's like there, and then here. Hopefully you're getting a good look at this. Look down and see the feathers at your feet. Look down and show some if you can look down and see the sweet things of the street. Look down, look down upon your fellow man. All 
Alright, so this corner right here is going to be pretty dark. Compared to the rest of the very shaded stuff. You can just like pull it out. Just take it out along the top, bottom, and eyelid creases. So there's that. This is really taking forever. <laughs> We're only on the head. Okay, and then Sorry, this takes so long. Okay, so we've done those, and then you're gonna follow these. Oh, well, that's dark. It's okay, we blend. And if you make mistakes, don't freak out. Just kind of think, <laughs> if, <laughs> first think, Okay, if I try to wipe this off and it smears, will it be a big deal? If yes, then you're better off trying to cover it up with a freckle or something. Kristen's listening to her messages. Really weird ones. And um, the deeper the crease, which if this isn't obvious, the deeper the crease, the more the, you know, crease color, the more you want to go over it. See in there? No. Now what do we do? Oh, alright, so we're going to go along the back of the ear, and crease in there, go along the back of the ear, just kind of like that. And we blend. I'm gonna get in this little thing on the dig. Some dolls have it differently, but um, it's right there. That little indent. You're gonna hit that. You're gonna go along with the crease of the outside of the ear, like so. And then you're gonna go on the inside, which is gonna be hard to see. This kit really is good to paint. You know, some kits kind of make it harder for you with fused fingers and just things like that. But this one's really good. I'm not surprised that it's so popular. And it's cute, so that's a bonus. And this will be, um, inside the ear at least, will be one of those steps that you're going to be repeating over several layers until it gets um, the right color. Alright, so there's that ear. 
here's the unpainted ear, painted ear, unpainted, painted. Unpainted, painted. And then, yeah, you figured it out by now. I'll do the other ear and then I'll make the limbs in a separate video.